still a big maze and uh, uh, you know the announcement made uh, by geo uh, on one end looks very aggressive because they're talking about 200000 crores to be invested and just to give you a perspective here if you compare it with the entire market capitalization of uh, airtel it's it's their their net worth is about uh, 400000 crores so 50% of that they're talking about putting into uh, 5g over the next few years so from that perspective it's it's looking very colossal but when you look at what's happening across the globe look at china for example you know a single operator puts in more than 15 16 billion dollars every year and they've been doing it for the last couple of years and it doesn't seem to be ending because they're continually putting in more money uh, into 5g as 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 the coverage expands as capacity expands as new use cases come up so when you look at it uh, from an international perspective it seems pretty okay but when you look at it um relatively from um, what's happening in india it looks really colossal and a, and a and a promise that we are very serious about 5g and you're going to see some interesting things roll out right yesterday of course and from a year to date perspective both bharti and reliance industries have done well uh, do you think uh, that the market expects bharti to also plan similar moves yeah i think uh, it's a two horse race and um, uh Airtel doesn't seem to be in any mood to relent anymore. Uh, all the damage that Airtel suffered for a couple of years uh, when they were lagging on the 4G, they realized their mistake uh, and they've uh, uh, since then caught up a lot and uh, seem to be fighting tooth and nail in the market. So I don't believe that uh, in this two horse race, uh, Airtel is going to give uh, and make the same mistakes that they made the last time. I think they'll be neck on neck the strategies might uh, differ to begin with i know uh, reliance geo has been talking about a stand alone network uh, especially on 3500 and 700 uh, megahertz uh, airtel will also do it uh, eventually once their traffic balances out because their um, a spectrum is spread over 2g 3g 4g and now 5g so they they cannot do it immediately but over time i'm sure they also move in the same direction but to cut the long story short you know to a consumer it doesn't matter you know which vendor you have it doesn't matter whether it's a stand alone or it's a non stand alone network what the consumer really values is my experience and my experience for the mm. from the service provider and how uh, from that experience all elements of the network whether it's devices the access network the content the digital services the storage the security all those come together for offering me a great experience i think that's what the customer values and therefore each one of them will have to strive uh, for supremacy in the market uh, to make sure that they have a positive customer experience and are able to be competitive and world class on that while i say that i sometimes feel that while reliance has a first mover advantage or they're trying to take a first mover advantage and coming out very fast on the rollout and investments I think Airtel might have an advantage of the postpaid customer base they, that they have because you know every time we see new technologies come in the first ones to jump onto the new technologies are generally the postpaid guys so I think that edge probably Airtel has on the customer base that they have so I think it will be a very evenly poised game going forward none of them is going to relent and give uh, a lot of room to anybody else Sanjay is real here in Singapore I want to take this a little bit